And now our first class is about introduction to oil and gas reservoir. Okay. And this is the oil production system. I want to show you a video. Okay. You already know that we have oil from the reservoir flow through the well and to separator the gas will be burned in flare and then the oil will be stored in the tank and then the water what happened to the water yeah you can see the oil will be delivered to tank for example or through pipeline and the water will be injected back into the reservoir for example for pressure maintenance or for water flood okay so this will be the background of our lecture today the reservoir yeah this is the production system in offshore environment we have platform here okay and then this is the subsea wellhead or subsea christmas tree Okay, and down there we have the reservoir. Okay, and then you can you can see the blue line. We call the blue line aquifer, the water layer, all right? The aquifer, and then the green zone is the oil reservoir, and then the red zone is of course the gas cap. Okay, very interesting. And this is the production system also for onshore. Previously, it is offshore and this is onshore. And you can see we have the reservoir, the water. OK, and then the oil layer and also the gas cap. And then we have the well. The well will produce the fluid from the reservoir and the fluid will go to the station or to surface facility. Here we have separator, stock tank to store the oil and then sales line. That's basic. You already understand that. And simple question, where do the hydrocarbon come from? Many people out there may think that oil and gas is stored underground in underground lakes or pools. Okay. Maybe they think that oil comes from lake, danau, seperti itu danau, or pools, kolam, or river, sungai, underground. But we as petroleum engineering student or petroleum engineering professional know that it's not like here, like this water tank or gallon, but, res but the reservoir is actually like a sponge as you can see sponge here it's not hollow but it has pores dia punya pori pori all right here we have hollow tank but actually reservoir is like here sponge with pores or we can also call it porous sponge okay sponge yang berpori and if you press the sponge, water will come out because water is stored in the pores of this sponge. OK. Then the real life of reservoir is actually not sponge, but rock. And we know it is porous rock, batuan yang berpori. All right. And the oil, yes, and water it's stored inside the pores. Disimpan di dalam pori-pori. And this is, if I zoom in, but the big picture is actually like this. This is the conceptual reservoir. We have aquifer below, and then oil, and then gas cap above. Okay, and this is a body of rock. Okay, body of rock. And we know that the, the the rock is porous. It has porosity. Okay, 
So oil and gas come from the pores of underground rocks. OK. All right. And the real reservoir can be depicted like this. OK, we have, for example, the onshore side and then the offshore side. And down there we have oil reservoir, the green zone here, oil reservoir. Or maybe gas reservoir, the red zone. And you can see the picture of well there. And here offshore field, down there we have, oh, gas cap, oil reservoir and aquifer. And also we have another reservoir here. Below the salt dome. Okay, salt dome. And if we zoom in the reservoir here, we take a sample of rock like this cube, this cube of rock. It has pores, and within that pores, we have the oil. Okay, so this is the oil will flow through the well, go up to this platform, and then the platform will pump the oil. To the city, for example. Okay, so that's the oil and gas reservoir. But many years ago, the reservoir is actually this environment. Okay, before it turns to be a reservoir, they are actually, some of them are river, some of them are delta, and some of them are lakes. Before they turned to be reservoirs, they were alluvial fan, braided river, fan delta, continental shelf, and and so on and so forth. Okay, so they will become reservoirs in the future. So, yeah, some people say it's thousands years ago or million years ago. We are not sure. But before they turn to be reservoir, they are they were actually here. Submarine fan, continental slope, delta, and so on and so forth. And of course, they will have different properties because they come from different depositional environment. And as reservoir engineer and reservoir simulator, we need to understand the depositional environment of our reservoir. So if we want to simulate reservoir previously, which, which previously was river, it will have different properties with reservoir that actually was a lake. Okay, kalau kita modeling reservoir yang sekarang itu river atau channel reservoir, tentu propertinya akan sangat berbeda with reservoir that was a lake yang dulunya danau. Okay, so we need to understand, we need to discuss with our geologist friend, petrophysicist friend, geophysicist friend to understand the character of our reservoir. Okay, and yeah, before, before the hydrocarbon was formed, this slide is about reservoir formation how the reservoir forms, bagaimana reservoir terbentuk. So previously, we have yeah, something like mangkuk seperti ini maybe, with mud, with sand, and land plants and animals that accumulated in this zone. Okay, and accumulated, accumulated across time. Okay, we have huge amount of deposits here, organic deposits, and somehow due to geological phenomena, layers of layers of sand will, yeah, will be at the top of this accumulation. Yeah. Layer demi layer akan menimpa akumulasi ini, and somehow, this zone will become potential source rock. It will become a kitchen. Dia akan menjadi dapur, all right? It will be a potential source rock which will cook the organic deposit, the organic accumulation and change the organic deposit 
to be oil and gas. OK, so. After a very long period of time, this mud and sand becomes source rock. And it will be a kitchen. It will be. A place to cook the oil and gas and we have heat this in we have heat and due to the burial. We have high pressure, high temperature and the oil and gas will form and somehow oil and gas will migrate. Go above. Due to permeability, they will find the channel and then somehow they are trapped. Terjebak, terperangkap, they are trapped because there is a layer rock layer with very small permeability which is called seal all right seal and because of this seal oil and gas cannot go above cannot cannot go at upper zone and it will be stored here it will be trapped it will be accumulated in this layer and we call this layer reservoir oil and gas reservoir so that's the process of reservoir uh, formation and this is another picture you see this source rock the gray color and then we have oil and gas generation here and the oil and gas are formed and then they migrate through this fault they find channel so that they can go up up and and up and somehow they are trapped because of the seal rock here we have seal rock the purple line okay and then they will separate the face will separate gas will be at the top we call it gas cap and then we have oil lake and then we have water lake or aquifer okay and then between gas cap and oil lake we have gas oil contact and between oil and water we have oil water contact all these terms are very very important so you need to be familiar with the term trap or seal or gas oil contact oil water contact gas cap aquifer you need to be familiar with those terms okay Right. Again, due to difference of density, okay, difference of gravity, gas will be at the top, and then oil, and then the heaviest, the water at the bottom. Okay, they have different density, and of course they will have different pressure at their corresponding depth. Okay, so here we have gas and then oil and the water and they have different gradient okay kemiringan garisnya berbeda they have different gradient why because they have different density so they have different density they will have different pressure gradient and yeah the line will be different okay gas will be quite steep and then oil and then water will be quite mild okay landai okay and yeah during the oil and gas migration oil will migrate upwards because it is lighter whereas water will be pushed down because it is heavier okay so you know the hydrocarbon formation or reservoir formation okay and then we discuss about reservoir structure. 